What's up guys, my name is Brandon and today we're going to be talking about iOS 11.4, the March media event, and also when we can expect iOS 11.3 to finally be released. So Apple just held their March media event yesterday on March 27th and after this event, pretty much everybody expected to see the final release of iOS 11.3. I talked about that a lot on the channel after going through all the betas, we'd probably expect it on the 27th at the event, but we did not get iOS 11.3. We didn't get a new beta, we didn't get the final release, we didn't get anything. However, Apple did reveal that we're going to be seeing an iOS 11.4 pretty soon. So you can see here that Apple did confirm iOS 11.4 in this article on the press section of their site where they have an article here on class kit for education apps. And in the first sentence, it says the class kit framework coming in iOS 11.4 works with a powerful new iPad app called schoolwork, blah, blah, blah. So you can see right there, it clearly says iOS 11.4. If we click on learn more about class kit, and if we scroll all the way down to the very bottom, you can see that it says iOS 11.4 beta. So it looks like iOS 11.4 will be going through the beta stages as well. It's not going to be just one of those point releases that just gets released publicly just out of nowhere without any beta testing. So it's looking like we are going to have beta testing for iOS 11.4 and that should be out pretty soon. Now iOS 11.4 is a pretty big surprise since iOS 9 or iOS 10 did not have a point four update and we really didn't have any kind of hints at all of an iOS 11.4 coming, especially since iOS 11.3 still isn't released for everyone just yet. Now I wouldn't expect too much in terms of features with iOS 11.4 since it seems that the main focus is just going to be related to education and the new class kit framework. So, you know, most of you guys aren't really gonna care about that kind of thing. So I wouldn't really expect too many new features with 11.4, but of course we will see some UI enhancements and some just minor features and bug fixes. Now, one thing I hope we do get is messages in iCloud. We still do not have messages in iCloud back in iOS 11.3, the latest beta, beta six. So hopefully that does come back with iOS 11.4, if not even iOS 11.3, the final release, if they do happen to do that. Now, as for when we can expect the first beta of iOS 11.4, nobody really knows at this point. It's likely going to be released after iOS 11.3 and it could even be on the same day or the week of iOS 11.3 getting released since Apple has been doing that a lot lately. Now keep in mind that we will also be getting iOS 12 on or around June 4th when WWDC 2018 kicks off so that means that we should definitely see iOS 11.4 within the next couple months and it's most likely going to be out sooner than that. Now the only other important thing revealed at the March media event was a new 9.7 inch iPad that will now support the Apple Pencil. So now what's going on with iOS 11.3? So you can see here, we're currently on the sixth beta, which is 15E5216A. That is the build number of the sixth developer beta of iOS 11.3. But what's going on? We've been sitting here at the sixth beta for two weeks now with no GM release in sight. Now, just earlier today, Apple did release iOS 11.3 for the new iPad that was just released, but it was only released for that device. No iPhones or other iPads got the firmware update for iOS 11.3. Now, one possibility that I've seen others talk about is that Apple could be having trouble with AirPlay 2, which was removed in beta three and it never returned. So this could be an obstacle that Apple's facing or there just could be other miscellaneous bugs that they're dealing with and it's taking more time than expected. As for the final release of iOS 11.3, I would expect it to be released next week, but of course, who really knows with Apple these days? And once again, we could even see iOS 11.4 beta on the same day or just within the same week, which could be next week. But anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to talk to you guys about iOS 11.3 and also iOS 11.4, kind of just keep you guys updated on everything going on with these software releases. Now, I know I haven't been making a lot of videos lately, but don't worry, I am going to start getting back in the routine of things. If you saw my Twitter post, you'll know exactly why I was not making videos. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, make sure to follow me on Twitter and go check out my Twitter post from last week. But anyways, guys, let me know what you think about iOS 11.3 and also iOS 11.4. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments section below. Also make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the coverage on iOS 11.4 and eventually iOS 12 as well. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.